you only live once, but is it worth taking the risk of living once to sacrifice your family for your fun? I was at a friend's house on New Year's Eve. We were playing games, having a good time. We looked down and it was 12 o'clock where our tradition is that we blow off fireworks after midnight to bring in a new year. I decided to hold one in my hand and light the fuse and unfortunately it went down through my hand and to the ground. He came in and um, said he needed help. People are handing me towels and that kind of thing and I'm just I didn't even really look at it closely for a while, just held it as tight as I could. When we got to Colorado Springs, they knew at that point that he needed more specialized care. And so that was when they made the decision to transport him to Swedish. The trauma team let me know and sent me uh, a photo of the injury and I knew that this was going to be a significant and devastating injury to that hand. My biggest fear was just having it cut off and healed and not having a hand at all. We really wanted to make sure that he had no life-threatening injuries and then work on salvaging his upper extremity. I immediately felt like we were in the right place. Once we got the wound clean, um, we then worked um, from a uh, um, kind of deepest level um, out and focused on getting the bones aligned. He had a significant forearm bone fracture as well as a wrist bone fracture, several wrist bone fractures and it really shortened his arm and so we had to lengthen it and hold everything out to length with what's called an external fixator. It's just basically a frame on the outside of the arm to hold things to length because there's just too much shattered bone in there. You know he had a lot of uh, bony comminution, lots of little pieces, and really putting it all back together, it's a little bit of a puzzle. After that, it left a lot of this bone exposed. We recognized that he needed soft tissue coverage, which just means any type of tissue that we can put over this would help. All right. A really tried and tested method is to use the skin off of the chest, but you leave it connected to the chest. And so ultimately, the upper extremity was sewn to the chest and left in place for about a month. And during that time, the blood flow goes from the chest into the hand, and slowly that balance shifts, and the hand starts overtaking that tissue, and the hand starts really becoming the main blood, blood flow source to that tissue. Then at four weeks, we disconnected it, we closed his chest site, and now we had nice supple tissue to cover all of those reconstructions in his upper extremity. So the surgery went off without a hitch. It was, uh, it was kind of releasing, so to say. <laughs> Occupational therapy was outstanding. <laughs> so you want to go down, in, and you just go in to get a stretch, and you absolutely avoid pain. Carol, she was very diligent in what she does, and she gave me hope, and she gave me strength to succeed. There's no doubt in my mind that I wouldn't have had my hand. No doubt. I honestly feel the reason <clears throat> that I was sent to Swedish was because he was the only one in the state of Colorado that could even attempt to put me back together. And he did that for me. That's why I'm here, to be honest, is to spread that love and to spread my word for the, the, the care that I received at Swedish.